and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Demon Slayer episodes 9 and 10. And what I am expecting today is, at least for the first episode, a fight scene. We, the last episode in the eighth one, we left it with the Muzan's errand uh, kids, errand kids, attacking the doctor's house. At the same time, in the doctor's house, we have the doctor. Her errand boy, uh, Tanjiro and uh, Nezuko. Oh my god, I'll never learn her name anyway. So I guess Tanjiro, with the help of Nezuko, will defeat the two kids. They look like kids anyway, the two demons. Perhaps also with the help of the doctor and the other boy. I want to, the, to see them in action. I want to see their uh, capabilities. So, yeah, excited about that. We know that they are looking for a uh, really strong demon's blood. So perhaps they will get from these two after they defeat them. But before they kill them, right? Because when they are killed, they, they like evaporate. So it was a question I had in the previous episode too. How will Tanjiro get the blood? Anyway, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. It was mine. Don't look at your emails. And um, yeah, let's just close it. And yeah, I, I think that's what I'm expecting for the first episode. I don't know what about the second. I have been asking a lot to see more of the other uh, demon slaves, the new ones, the, their actions and their characters. Although I didn't quite like the purple guys and stuff, but I want. In the previous episode, I suspected that uh, the one that at the end was the doctor, it would be the girl, the, new, the young girl demon slayer that uh, passed the selection with Tanjiro. But yeah, that is all. I'm curious about today's episode, so yeah, let's just watch them, but before that, please like this video if you enjoyed my reaction, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Let's start with the ninth one. Also, sorry, before we jump into the episode, there was something I, I wanted to ask from the previous episodes, and I forgot, sorry. I, why didn't Muzan tame the rest of uh, Tanjiro's family? Why did he turn into a demon slayer? Or in, into a demon, sorry, only Nezuko. Per did he perhaps try to turn the rest of the ones and he failed just like he did in the previous episode? Did he enter a lot of blood and they explode? But yeah, I was wondering that. Why only one of a big family was turned into a demon? Anyway, yeah, I remember that now and uh, I wanted to ask that. And uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, I had written down here some of the questions. That was one. And the other one, I said in the previous episode something about how long has he been like that. But when I watched it again, he, it was mentioned something about a millennia ago that Muzan has been around. So... A, lo a very long time. Yes, that was it. Sorry about that. Let's watch the ninth episode. <laughs> right, they do look like kids, don't they? Now I'm looking at their backs, yes, and their faces. Yeah. Really dangerous kids. Okay. Kids having fun. Of course, brutally. She has said it like a thousand times by now. The Temari demon and the arrow demon. I guess they are these ones. The arrow must be the one that has an arrow in his hand, the boy. And Temaru, it said. Something like that must be the girl. Perhaps Temaru is a game? What was that paper? Mm. Stop laughing! <laughs> no, it's not fun! Temari. What is a Temari? These balls are called Temari? Mm. 
Is he a new Levi with, with being obsessed with cleanness? Stop laughing! Did I insult uh, Levi just now? Come on, fight back! Well, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Why is that? Creeping. Yeah. From what she said, she has been injected with a lot of blood, I guess. Kind of food earrings. Will he regenerate since he's a demon? Yeah. Will his head grow back? Yeah, the only one not being demon right now is you, Tanjiro. Will he cut it like in half? Like he did with the butter? Seven. Four. Oh! How many Temari does she have? Ah! Oh. She's controlling it. Mm. She has full control of it, I guess. Mm. We didn't need to see it again. Come on. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> Okay, so it's his technique to hide this house. <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh. I swear, if she says again one more time, this is so much fun. 12 blood moons. Okay, so they are known. Don't lose your head again, please. What is your blood art? Ah. Okay. So how do you beat that? Oh, they didn't see the other one? Be careful! Yes, worry about yourself. You are the one that can heal fast. What arrows? What arrows? Yeah. Yeah, and you that apparently can see them, you lost your head, so... Useless. So that uh, paper was his blood art. Mm. No. <laughs> they will deliver your heads, but anyway. Good. Oh, flowing dance, right? Oh! 
Okay, you have to cut her head though. Mm. How will you take the blood? Yeah, how? Stop laughing. Will she kill herself because they can take uh, the blood? But she doesn't look like a person that uh, she will realize that she's about to lose. I don't think she has, she has this mentality. Okay, go fight, okay? D don't just give instructions. Mm. Yeah, it's impressive how Tanjiro being this young and this new to this whole thing, he can do this well against them. <laughs> no, you weren't kidding. <laughs> ah. What does he do? Yeah, so you have to cut her head quickly. Mm. Yeah, she needs some sleep, I think. Okay, so three demons against one demon and one human against one demon? I, that sounds unfair actually, but anyway. Ah! What happened right now? Did she see the people they were before becoming demons? How? I'm counting on you. He's beginning to trust her and not be that protective, all well protective. Mm. Yeah, the opening. Mm. It won't be that easy though. And now, yeah, something with the eyes closing. Another arrow. What's the thing with arrows? Out, 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 yes, out, yes. Mm. Oh no, do something, do something, otherwise this will seriously hurt. Yeah? Okay. That was the eight. At some point I will learn all ten techniques. She's doing a good job uh, dodging the balls, like... Uh, oh. Okay, okay, get over it, okay? Oh, don't. It's in our favor. Tamayo the Vulsitive? Oh, she's no. Why? Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Ouch! Stop saying this is fun! It's getting tiring. Yeah, she can't regenerate this fast. Hmm. Hmm, yes. Oh, she had that in handy. Again, how do you do that? Is this has to have something to do with the sleep uh, thing he, the master did to her? <laughs> oh, his katana is shaking. Mm. Mm. <laughs> they are. They are creepy. How many arrows can he send simultaneously? Yeah, 
That's hard. That's a hard situation. No, the cardigan. I like the cardigan. Don't take that away. Out. Will he break his uh, arm? Will he twist it? Yes. Ah, smart. Perhaps he can do the same thing with the. Ah, didn't he kill the other demon with a, a way like a tornado with the water? No. Okay, yes, he can do that with the water, the water technique that uh, goes around him. He did that in a couple episodes before. Six form, is that what I'm talking about? Yes! Yeah, that he killed this demon. Cool. Yeah, that's a good solution, I think. At least to avoid the arrows, perhaps it will also be useful in order to kill him. Maelstrom, yeah, we have seen this name before. Yeah, he's avoiding... Uh, it has its... Uh, down drops. Yes, it worked in killing him too, right? He's dead, right? Yeah! I think he's dead. He's dead. I hope he's dead. But yeah. Yeah, that this technique I think until now is the most useful. All techniques are useful, but this one has been the more, uh, more essential in killing them. The other ones have been good for fighting and avoiding stuff, but he has used this technique twice by now in order to kill a demon. Okay. Okay, what about this episode? So, apparently Muzan has created uh, 12 uh, demons that he calls uh, Blood Moons. That at least these two look also like kids. Anyway, that's sad. That um, yeah, that he, they are like the strongers after him, and he uses them as his errand kids, as I call them. And one is down. What does he do after they are dead? He creates new ones, so we we'll, we will never get rid of the twelve. Anyway, that's. Um, I'll worry for another time. Until now, we haven't seen the the other two. I mean, the friendly ones do anything important, especially the doctor one. She said something that she can't do anything because uh, her blood art will uh, put in danger um, Tanjiro. Okay, the other guy we have seen him. He can make. I think he said buildings and people disappear. So perhaps he can make also Tanjiro and Nezuko disappear. And he can make himself also disappear, so okay, it's kind of useful, but still, three demons in order to beat one demon, and one human against one demon, like, how strong is Tanjiro? Um, yeah, we haven't seen yet how will they extract the blood, I guess now from the boy they won't be able to, because after they are dead they evaporate, so we are left with the girl, so very curious how they are going to do it, how are they going to extract the blood. So yeah, I want to say that, so let's start what's the 10th episode. Mm, it's about time you die. Maelstrom, I have to search what Maelstrom is. Modified second form, so second. I think he said another number in the previous episode. Together forever, <laughs> okay. He's dead, right? He's dead. Evaporate. Yes, you did. Yeah, the previous time it was underwater, wasn't it? 
Isn't he dead? He was hit, uh, hit by the water and not the katana, that's why he's alive. Oh my god, he is not dead! Where are he getting him to? The moon? I'm so confused with the numbers of the force forms, but anyway. Okay, no, he is dying, but very slowly. Come on, evaporate already. Yeah. Is that because he was so strong, the demon, and he had so much blood that he died so slowly? Die already? Yeah. Bye, 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 bye. From how much high will he fall? Come on, do the same thing again with the water. No. Okay, now he's dead for good, I think. <laughs> and now the paper fell. Where are they? Mm. Where are they? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you have been through a lot, but you you did it. As I said, it's impressive being this young into demon slaying <laughs> and managing all that. Mm, okay, the determination, but even if you go, manage to go there, what will you do in this condition? You will be a burden, they will have to protect you. <laughs> ah. Don't lose ah ah Can she die already? I'm so tired of her. episode the doctor told her to not uh, strike the ball but now she does okay what was inside this syringe that the doctor gave her <laughs> like football <laughs> like football Look at the veins! <laughs> hmm. So it is her strength. Yes. By sleeping. Right, what is wrong with these uh, siblings? Like, what is wrong with their blood and their genes? Yeah, finally, we get to see you in action. Tell me. Yeah, let me know what is happening. Of what? Yes. Okay. But he has uh, bonded uh, these two, the girl and the boy from the 12 blood moons. He's that pity. <laughs> what is her blood art? What is she doing? 
口にしますかね呪いが発動する What is happening? Ah, 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 He wasn't allowed to say the name. So if you if they say the name, they. Ah. Okay, so we didn't get any blood from this door this way. Take the blood that is going down now. Take a cup and collect it. That's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah, the one that you admire those that much. Look what he's doing to you. That's brutal. Oh, <laughs> Nezuko is sleeping. Yeah, she's tired. It's not a nice view. Mm. Take the blood. Futile. I don't know what this word means. It's pointless. Okay, thank you. Okay. So they are made in order to fight each other, but not completely kill each other, right? Why? Okay, he's protecting him. Good. Ah? And why did she thought she was? Weak. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's not able yet to kill a blood wound one. Why? Okay, by a syringe, that's how they will collect the blood. Why? Why did he make them believe that uh, they were uh, part of the blood wounds? Mari, 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 what? Don't make me feel sorry for her too now. Ate Mari. Why are they doing this in every episode? Mm. They make us hate the demons and then feel bad for them. Now she will be gone for good. That's sad. Yeah, why? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Because all demons were humans before. Why these two specifically? Because they helped them? Hmm. Okay, she has a will of her own. <laughs> no, it's happy tears. It's happy tears. Mm, perhaps she hasn't had a family for a long time. Mm. How? Okay. No. No. Okay, perhaps it's good. Mm. And he will be more uh, relaxed. Yeah, but can they separate? No, you are bonded. Mm. Forever together. Right. Mm. <laughs> Ah, say one kind word. Your kid sister. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did call her ugly before, right? <laughs> Give him a break. Mm. <laughs> I did ask for more insight and more uh, screen time of the other demon slayers, but they all look weird. Like the purple one is too angry, too aggressive. The yellow one is... I don't know, <laughs> I don't want to call him a loser, sorry, no, but he has this very losing mentality, like pessimistic mentality. And the girl is always on mute, like I can't understand. She's the most interesting actually. But come on, what is this saying? I'm going to die just marry me. He, he doesn't want to die a virgin, perhaps? Okay, they're kids. Anyway. Yeah, I like this show. I like this show. I like the plot. But sometimes some characters can become a little bit tiring. Like, Okay, how many times will we, we hear the girl, the bad girl that thought she was a blood moon one, uh, say that uh, she's having so much fun and laughing? Like, okay, one time, two times, she's getting tired. I get the the boy who was with the doctor, jealous all the time. It's getting tiring. Okay, I like I like this song. I truly I truly do. And I keep thinking of it when I'm not watching it and stuff, but they have to relax a little bit with the characters, I think. But I do like Tanjiro and I do like Nezuko. So, yeah. What I didn't understand with the Blood Moons is... The Blood Moons, uh, the 12 ones, as a concept, there are the strongest... Uh, the strongest uh, demons after uh, Muzan that they serve us as his uh, servants that they serve as his servants anyway because that's also the idea that uh, the doctor had so that must be so why not just use them the real ones and tell to fake ones that they are blood ones and use the fake ones that apparently they are not as strong why do that? Why not use the real ones? I'm talking about Musa. Why did he use them? And why lie to the two kids? Perhaps the blood moon ones, they're not that. They are not super um, faithful and super, uh, super loyal. And they won't do anything he tells them. 
So that's why he has to find other kids. But again, find other kids and tell them go do what I want. Why name them something they are not? In order to scare people? And not many people know about the Black Monster. That's why I'm a little bit confused about why that happened. Okay, the part that uh, we got again that um, we hate those demons, we see them as very bad, but at the end, uh, while dying, they show, show us the true side of them, the more, the more human one, the more sensitive one, the one that makes us feel bad for them. And okay, I did cut from the beginning that they were kids, these two, and I did think of what they were before becoming demons. I, it did cross my mind, but it's different to just think, oh, those kids were kids before becoming demons, but... And it's another thing watching them die, and at the moment they're dying, asking for another kid to play with them, like she did. The boy one had a more brutal death, he was just angry, so we didn't feel bad for him, we were just hoping die soon, die soon, die soon. But yeah, the girl that I even hated her more than the boy at the end, I felt more sorry for her. Yeah, that's, that's a talent of the show to make us feel this way. Yeah. So she said, the doctor said that the I have written down the Muzan name, but I think in the show is more used his other name. I have to then write it out to remember it. Anyway, the major bad guy, he's not that strong. He's weak and she, he's fearing something. He's fearing that the de demons he has created will turn against him. And it is logical because when they realize what he has done to them, that he has took away their humanity, they could be angry at him. So he made their nature be like that in order to fight each other, in order to focus on fighting each other and not on fighting him. But they don't cause from where they're still too severe uh, hurts on each other, they can kill each other, only just fight. The only thing, as, is, as she said, that can actually kill demons is the sun and uh, the, the special katanas uh, the demons have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is all for today. We basically what I thought we would get in the first episode, we get, we got it on both of them, a lot of fighting, it was nice, it was, it was really nice, it, it is nice to see Tanjiro use all these uh, water forms, I have again to learn them, I have to learn them slowly, slowly, but uh, yeah, he's very strong, and even when I was watching it, I said that, oh, how impressive that he's such a, news he's so new to the, the the art of being a demon slayer whatever it is that he can man he can kill someone as strong as a blood man blood moon <laughs> blood moon have i been saying all this time man moon <laughs> blood moon sorry if i have been saying it wrong all this time apparently they weren't but still, they were very strong, so good for him. So now we will have to see him kill a blue moon to... He has to become a little bit more strong and I think we will get to see that. So yeah, from now on, I think we will focus on what I have been asking, that is the rest of the young demon slayers, which is nice, but at some point I want to see Tomioka again, so please. My boy, I missed him. I only saw him in one episode, like 10 minutes, but I miss him. I miss him. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching my reaction. If you did enjoy it, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye.